Hello, I'm Isaac from Axia Futures and today I'm going to take you through a four minute tutorial on the market profile. Now let's go somewhere a little bit more quiet than the trading floor and let's get started. A market profile is a visual tool that relates price and time and it tells you about how the market sees value. When you look at your market profiles, you're going to see a lot of letters. Now each of these letters is called a TPO and it represents a price that the market traded in a period of time. Now that period of time is usually set at 30 minutes and that's the standard way that a market profile is set up for day trading. Potentially one of the most difficult things about learning the market profile is understanding how it's constructed. So we're gonna walk through this together. Now, if you imagine a 30 minute candlestick chart and if you replace each candle by a string of letters, so for example, the first 30 minute candlestick, you replace by a series of A's, one A at each price that was traded in that 30 minute. Then on the next candlestick, you put B's and you do that so on and so forth until the chart is filled, is replaced by letters. If you can imagine tipping that chart 90 degrees so that the candlesticks, or now TPOs, are horizontal. Now imagine gravity coming along and pulling those TPOs down so they all fall in a pile but each still within its column. Now the resulting picture should look something like a probability distribution and that is basically how the TPO chart is formed. If you're looking at a market profile you're likely to see two features. The first is the row with the most TPOs and this is called the point of control and it's the price that was traded most frequently in the 30 minute time period. The second feature is a zone and it's usually colored and this represents value and it contains 70% of the TPOs for the day or at least 70% is how profiles are usually set up. Now what about the volume profile? You'll often see both a TPO chart and a volume profile. Now, the volume profile is very, very similar. However, instead of looking at price and time, you're looking at price and volume. So you can almost think of it in exactly the same way, except you're just looking at how many lots traded at each price or how many shares traded at each price, rather than how much time did it spend, how many 30 minute intervals did it spend at that price. Now let's talk through an example to help us understand what the market profile shows us. I'm originally from New Zealand, and in New Zealand supermarkets, bananas are the most commonly sold fruit or vegetable. So let's suppose a New Zealand supermarket raised the prices of its bananas and then found that it cut off customer demand. Now a neighboring supermarket may start to lower their prices and in return, start a supermarket banana price war. So as prices go lower, customers are of course want to buy them. But if prices move too low, that it removes the profitability from the supermarkets, then they'll have to start increasing their prices. And this describes the auction process. And somewhere in the middle, customers will find value and supermarkets will find value. Now, why is this understanding of value important? Let's say you wanted to sell a low in a market. Now, if the market was extended from value, that might not be such a good idea. However, if value is moving lower as price move lower, then selling that low makes a lot more sense. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial about the market profile. It's one of my favorite tools. If you'd like to know more about profile trading, or if you'd like to know what it's like to be a professional trader, subscribe to this vlog and follow me on my journey as a junior trader at XF Futures in London.